So, a new Sky Scorch has been revealed. Sky Scorch Sith Hairs. Um, level 6 Aerith Feet Effect Monster. I mean, it's interesting. Those were like last revealed in one of those GX sets. Not sure which set. And one of them could just loop your entire hand, so that one was broken. Um, but let's see what this one actually does. 2200 attack, 600 defense. Cannot be special summoned. I expected some self special summoning class on here, but it doesn't even allow it to be special summoned. Okay, that's interesting. Art does look nice, by the way. Um, if the card's tribute summoned, that's a <laughs> they want you to tribute summon this. Okay, so already off the bat, this is either a Monarch card or a playable card, probably. Maybe Burning Abyss could theoretically run it, although it needs to be better than the Vanity's Ruler or Majestic's Ruler or whatever they run. Those fiends that lock you from stuff. Whereas if this card's tribute summons can apply these effects based on the type and attributes of the monster's tribute for this tribute summon. Why does this have this S between brackets? It's a level 6 monster, that's one tribute. Is there even an easy way to tribute multiple monsters for this if you want to? That's kind of confusing. Anyways, if it's a light fairy, very specific, although that's the whole Sky Scourge gimmick, they are very specific with their effects. You can add one light fairy or one dark feet monster from your deck to your hand. So this searches all of DDD, it searches all of BA, Burning Abyss, um, it searches some other good things as well. Issue is you need to tribute a light fairy for it. That's a bit specific and honestly even hard to do for most of those decks. If you tribute the Dark Fiend, send one Light Fairy monster and... And... Oh. And one Dark Fiend monster from the deck to the graveyard. It's a bit of a better Armageddon Knight, but most of the decks that would, would want this don't even run Armageddon Knight. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna be honest, I don't think this card is viable in any strategy. I don't think it will see play, due to it being an Earth and um, not really having a search as far as I know. It's just not consistent, and there are better level 6 summon. You yeah, are, well, one single tribute monsters. You have to. I'm not even sure what they're called. I call to Vanity's Fiend. Uh, but yeah, that's one of them, right? Then you have two of these monsters one locks monster effects, one locks special summons. Decks that would run a single tribute summon, like Burning Abyss, would rather run those to stun opponents in combo heavy formats. And there is this comparable monster for Monarchs. This one doesn't even work in Monarchs. Theoretically, you could say this is a Monarch card, level 6, single tribute. Works for tribute summons. When this card is tribute summoned, you can banish one spell card from your grave, add one with the same name from your deck to your hand. Monarchs don't even play this, and this is theoretically more of a plus. So Monarchs won't play this, Burning Abyss won't play this. I can't imagine a single deck that will play this. It not even being a light or a dark or something itself also doesn't help. So unless I'm missing something, this card is completely terrible. Maybe I missed something, but from what I can see, I rated about as 1 out of 10. Lightning Overdrive had some good cards so far, and it's cool that they are going back to Sky Scourge, but I don't think this would even have been good in the GX era, to be honest. So not uh, maybe I'm just missing something broken here, but I just don't see how this card's file. If I'm wrong, tell me so in the comments. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. See you guys next time at the signing out. Peace.